Well, he's always talking about small church and making church not a cor- like a corporation, but uh, you know, intimate and personal. Um, and then times like this, you know, we're talking about at dinner about kind of election time and all this stuff happening. And, uh, the best thing we can do is just try to picture people as people. And uh, to me, the world makes a lot more sense that way. And uh, this song is, is uh, I did after, I said, I told you earlier I wasn't uh, very good with prayer. I'm not good with spiritual discipline. I'm not good with regular discipline. I, I'm just not good with, uh, discipline, period. And, and uh, so uh, I would, usually what would happen whenever I would get this feeling like oh, I'm not praying enough or I'm not being spiritual enough, I would be like, you know what? I'm going to give, I'm going to have quiet time. I'm going to read the Bible for like an hour. Then I'm going to like, you know, meditate and then I'm going to whatever. And maybe it would work for one day. And then I'd be like, I don't have time for this. And I remember reading in the Screw Tape Letters, I don't remember specifically what it is, but it talks about like, that's kind of the way that, that, you know, the devil would talk. It's kind of like, whenever we get these good ideas, set set up uh, goals for ourselves that are going to be too possible to to keep up with so that we'll want to quit. Um, So I've had enough times of doing that and failing over and over and over and over again. I was like, you know what, I'm going to give myself a really easy prayer to say throughout the day. It's going to be three words. And uh, that way I can just, you know, I'll try to say it once a day. If I forget, then I'm not going to beat myself up about it. But three words should be easy enough. It doesn't take a lot of time. And I can say it while I was like, waiting in line for fast food. So um, the prayer that I chose for some reason, I don't remember why I chose it, was come Holy Spirit. And I don't know, I know that I don't know what I was asking for or what I was getting myself into. But it was three words, and I was like, this, this ought to work. And uh, so I, it was easy to, to, to keep up with it at first because it, it was short, and I, I would just kind of say it throughout the day. I'd just be like, oh, come Holy Spirit. Sometimes I'd say it in a prayerful mood. Like I'd, I would like to be sitting in the choir, and I'd be like, come Holy Spirit. And I'd even say it more than once, you know, because it's so easy. Uh, sometimes I w- I'd just be doing something, you know, stupid. And, and I'd be like, oh, yes, prayer. come Holy Spirit, okay. And, and not, not in a prayerful mood, just saying, you know, like, not meaning anything, not, not putting my heart and soul behind it, but just saying it. And like what I was talking about before, sometimes if you dare say those words, whether you mean it or not, I still think they're going to work on you. Um, and, but I didn't know what I was asking. And I can't describe very well what happened after a, uh, well, what happened after I started saying that prayer, but, but it was like almost immediately there's this change. And the best way I can describe the change is like those, those backpacks that look like teddy bears mm-hmm. that kids wear, uh, but they're not really backpacks, they're really a harness because it's attached to a leash. You know, <laughs> and, uh, you usually see them like at Disney World or airports or something like that. <coughs> I felt like I had one of those on, and I was being like pulled places. So I remember specifically getting on a flight to Tampa, and... You know, I said that prayer walking through the airport. I said it over and over and over again. And I get on the plane, and, and it's just kind of like, I'm not, not going to say there's an audible voice saying, sit next to this woman, but it was just kind of like, hey, there's an open seat right there. You should sit next to that lady. Okay, and I sat next to the lady. And, and then this conversation, it, like just weird things were happening. Like, it, like it, it was just incredibly rich. Everything felt like it had a purpose to it. Like every where I went to go eat, where, you know, the conversations that I, and to be completely honest with you, and, and Jill doesn't always like this when I tell people this, but it freaked me out so bad that I stopped saying the prayer. Because um, it, it really was kind of scary. It was just kind of like, what did I get myself into? Like, it was just weird stuff was going on. And um, I'll still do it occasionally. I don't do it every day, or I, I, I probably don't do it, like, you know, once a month. But, um, but it really did, there were kind of immediate results, and it was one of those things of saying, uh, a reminder that there's uh, a lot more going on uh, to us and with us than, than, than we're aware of. And the good news in that is that, uh, you know, you always hear, it's like, well, it's not on your own merit, you know, or there's nothing you can do that, you know, 
It's not your works. Well, yeah, it's not. It, to me, that just means like stuff. Stuff is going to be happening in me, uh, whether I want it to or not, which takes the pressure off of me. You know. Um, and so this song is about that experience with the prayer and the mysterious uh, Holy Spirit. Thanks again for listening. Uh, sorry if I played too long. I have been, no clue what I'm doing. So. <laughs> I have a mailing list uh, I forgot to take out my backpack, but if you want to be on it, then I'll take it out of my backpack. You can sign up on it, and I'll send you a, I'll sell your email to the like, job mail place. <laughs> Same fire.